Hey, uh, guys, welcome back to my second video of my video blog uh, about the QR25DE motor from Nissan. Um, if you're, if I was successful in editing this, then what you're seeing next to me is the motor partially put back together. And I was, I had, have these clips put together it's a learning process i want everybody to kind of give me comments on what they like and don't like about it so i can get better at what i'm doing so any feedback would be appreciated but uh i started out showing you guys kind of like what it once you get the motor out of the car what it takes you're gonna have to clean a lot of parts and i did a lot of cleaning and this is just a short clip of uh some of the you know little parts on the motor that uh, I could get into the sink and scrub by hand. And later, I went back with a wire wheel on my drill to kind of really polish these things out. So, but yeah, uh, what you're seeing here is just lots and lots of cleaning. And I cleaned uh, parts for a long time and I have been toying with this idea that I'll be able to uh, show you guys um, not really step by step but uh, instruct uh, not really instructions but hopefully step by step yes I want to do something step by step um, so y'all can see you know if you were to do this yourself how to do it but more than that um, I don't want it to be an instruction video, like I want it to be somewhat entertaining. So here I am, I'm opening up the all the parts that I needed to buy for this particular build. And in this case, um, I'm cracking open the Engine Tech um, gasket sets. I needed to get one for the oil pump uh, and then just a general engine rebuild. You always want to replace any gaskets anytime uh, you, you break that seal uh, because it's just not going to seal the same again, you know? Uh, anyway, that's enough of that. Uh, I thought this was an interesting little <laughs> thing I had to do. So I was sharing this. Uh, this is just uh, one of the pistons that I'm going to show you. I My um, circlip pliers are just garbage. I need to get them replaced. So this is my do-it-yourself version of getting these surf clips out of the wrist pins for the pistons and uh, to take those um, connecting rods off the pistons uh, and in the background you probably saw some more um, stuff that I was there cleaning and dealing with so okay this is a good part of the video to tell y'all and kind of what I want to do it's actually a lot of work editing and making these videos uh, and just taking the time while I'm doing the work to get the footage. Uh, to me, that's the, like almost doubles the amount of time it takes to do the actual work. And I've been very anxious to get this car put back together. So, you know, um, like I said, I've learned a lot throughout this process. And uh, what I'm doing here is, um, so I actually have two blocks. Uh, I finally got the blocks back from the machine shop and so what you're seeing now is the first block uh, that I bought and machined uh, with and in the, in the photo here it has the machined heads as well so everything is freshly machined uh, barring the mistakes that I've made with the oil pump and everything but uh, that is not the focus of this video. The focus is showing you that inside of the motor, in the internals, there were some issues that I, I picked up on that are pretty terrifying if, it, you're, if it's your first time doing something like this. And engine building is not cheap by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, but in this case, on this block, there are, because it's an after 2007 model, there are oil squirters that squirt oil underneath the pistons. And what you're watching me do is methodically take the uh, 
broken uh, threads for this oil squirter, and I actually had to do it twice. Uh, for the fourth piston and the first piston, I drilled them out, tapped them, and put heli coil in. So in this case, I think it's just fine. Um, the torque specs, uh, anywhere online you'll find are like 24 or 18. I think that that's just ridiculously high and that's how the threads got broken in the first place. And uh, so what I'm doing here is I'm replacing those threads. I know maybe some of y'all would like to see me do that more up close, uh, especially the do-it-yourselfers or the people who are like me and enjoy watching uh, restoration videos. But I don't think that that's the case for this, and you're not going to actually get to see that with this. But uh, it, moving forward, uh, because I got impatient and I wanted to put this motor together, and it's here, and I've got it set up. You know, I don't have the head torque down yet, so I'm wondering if maybe I can uh, flip it around, give you some shots and some angles if y'all like to see the new connecting rods. I didn't get any shots of those, unfortunately, or any photos, but I did get some max speeding connecting rods uh, that came from Ontario in Canada, a company, uh, I think they were manufactured in China, but it is a um, uh, Asian block and for Asian manufacturer anyway, it makes sense. And I'm really looking forward to trying these max speeding uh, rods out because they have um, H-beam design. Um, maybe earlier uh, in the video, I, I think I do need to give you guys a shot of these, but maybe early in the video you saw me taking the uh, circ clips out so I could get the wrist pins out of the pistons and remove the connecting rods. Well, now that everything's back together, I'm wondering, yeah, I can give you guys shots of all the parts and stuff that I'm putting in, and that might be interesting for you to see, but uh, who wants to see a more in-depth, step-by-step, uh, progress like an instructional video similar to that but without the uh, straight up like the liability of if you follow my instructions <laughs> then I'm gonna have to like take responsibility uh, that I feel like for people anybody searching these videos is probably what they really want to see and I think that that's what I would want to see if I was gonna google something like this so um, in the future, wrapping it up, I think that, you know, that's what I'm going to do for you guys. I mean, we'll give you all another clip of, uh, of the new stuff that I put on, but I may take these off and give you all some clips starting from the basics. And there may be some things that I have to like go between two blocks, um, but you'll see that in future videos. So thanks for watching. Uh, please leave a comment if you got this far and let me know what you think. Uh, that's it.